Hi, Payton Panthers. Mrs. Covarrubias here. I hope that you and your families are doing well. I know that our daily routines have been turned upside down and we've all had to adjust. So I wanted to give you a small gift in the midst of it all. Something you do every week is come to the library and many of you tell me that it's one of your favorite parts of the week. Now I know I can't check books out to you or give you prizes for taking AR quizzes, but we can have story time. Our book that I've chosen for us today is called Bear Has a Story to Tell. This book was written by Philip C. Steed and illustrated by Aaron E. Steed. They've written lots of books. We'll read a few of those. Um, but today we're just going to read this one. There we go. That's our title page there. And there we see Bear. It was almost winter and Bear was getting sleepy. You guys know why he's getting sleepy, don't you? It's time to what? Hibernate, that's right. But first Bear had a story to tell. Mouse, would you like to hear a story? Asked Bear with a yawn. I'm sorry, Bear, said Mouse, but it's almost winter and I have many seeds to gather. Bear helped Mouse find seeds on the forest floor. When they had finished, Mouse said, see you soon, and tunneled underground to wait for spring. He's such a cute mouse, look at him. <laughs> Bear took slow, sleepy steps through the forest. Fallen leaves crunched under his feet. Hello, duck, said Bear, sitting down to rest his tired legs. Would you like to hear a story? I'm sorry, Bear, said Duck, but it's almost winter and I'm getting ready to fly south. I will miss you, Duck, said Bear. He raised a paw to check the direction of the wind. I will miss you too, said Duck, and off he flew. There he goes. The sun was heavy and hung low in the sky. Bear's eyelids were getting heavy too. He counted colors to stay awake. Three pink clouds, two red leaves, one green, what's that? Hello, Frog, said Bear. Would you like to hear a story? I'm sorry, Bear, said Frog, but it's almost winter and I have to find a warm place to sleep. Bear dug frog-sized hole between two evergreens. Then he tucked Frog in under a blanket of leaves and pine needles. Thank you, Bear, said Frog. I will see you in the spring. Bear leaned against the old oak tree. He stretched and yawned and scratched at his belly. I wonder if Mole is awake, he thought. There he is looking for Mole. Mole, are you there, Mole? Let's see. Mole was already asleep. Good night, Mole, said Bear with a sigh. The first winter snowflakes began to fall. There they are. Oh, there's Bear in his den, right? He's hibernating. Many months passed and the sun returned. It melted the snow and woke the trees. Bear rolled out onto the green grass. It's spring, he said. Now I can tell my story. Oh, he's so excited with him. He looks like my dog when she goes out and rolls around in the grass. But first, Bear brought Mouse an acorn. Thank you, Bear, said Mouse. Mouse was hungry after a long winter. Welcome home, duck, said Bear. 
You must be tired from your journey. Bear showed Duck a shady mud puddle he'd found. <laughs> you can see him playing in the mud. I think he likes that mud as much as Duck might. Bear placed Frog in the sunshine till he was warm and awake. Frog opened one eye and then the other. Good morning, said Bear. Bear, Mouse, Duck, and Frog waited all day for Mole to wake up. Finally, Mole poked his nose out into the moonlight. Mole, said Bear, would you like to hear a story? Bear gathered his friends. He sat up straight and cleared his throat. He puffed out his chest and with all his friends listening. They're already sitting there. But Bear could not remember his story. It was such a good story, he said, hanging his head. But winter is a very long time for a bear to remember. The friends sat together for a quiet minute. Then Mouse said, maybe your story is about a bear. And Duck said, maybe your story is about the busy time just before winter. I think there should be other characters too, suggested Frog. Like a mole, said Mole. And a mouse and a duck and a frog. Ooh, that story sounds familiar, doesn't it? Bear sat up straight again. He cleared his throat, puffed out his chest, and began his story with, what do you think it was? It was almost winter and Bear was getting sleepy. The end. Thanks for listening, Panthers. I'll be um, uploading some more books for us to read together and I'll have more news for you soon. Talk to you later, bye.